Howdy, cadre. I might explain that in a second. Um, this is not a Minecraft video. Certainly your eyes will be looking at Minecraft. But I'm hoping uh, most people here are here for my words. Wait. Huh? Okay. Um, I've got important announcements, channel updates, revelations. I almost said relevations. Um, where are we? Doesn't matter. Having trouble flying. Uh, oh, before I lose you, if there are any members of law enforcement watching, and I'm not, I'm not talking just cops, talking FBI agents, subcontractors, anything, certainly important updates for you too, so stay tuned. Maybe somebody can drop a timestamp in for when I start talking about My second job. There we go. Oh, where should I start, though? Um, Minecraft. Yeah, I'm not a Minecraft channel, just to let you know. Uh, I was hiding my face before I ripped out half of my eyebrows, so... I should turn the volume down because I'm already trying to yell over my own headphones, which is just noob idiocy. Okay. Am I going to swear in this episode? I might swear in this episode, so children, beware. Sensitive YouTube viewers, beware. Uh, I kind of got famous for swearing at, at YouTube. Or, or God. If I was talking to God, why would I put it on YouTube? I swear I grew that. Um, Alright, what's, what's going on? The world is in crisis. And... and uh, yes, this, uh, this virus should be taken seriously. But at the same time, um, every world crisis like this, oh, that's right, my portal's underwater, uh, comes with an opportunity for the grabbing of power. Whoa. I just learned that you can use fireworks underwater. I didn't realize that, but... It's one good reason to watch YouTube. What was that? Natural. Okay. Um, oh, jeez, where do I start? Uh... And can I avoid... Can I avoid talking about other dimensions? Oh, I just flew into new territory. Oh, that's fun. Where do I start? Uh, Long-time viewers? Maybe? Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll appear on screen again at some point. Uh, I don't have much hair right now. Apologize for that. The nails are in pretty good shape. I haven't worked too many sites recently. Um, which longtime viewers may not understand. Okay. So, a job that I've been working for a little while now. Uh, it's hard to count, because I started out 
doing like invoice preparation and data tracking uh, activity tracking for an electrical engineer that does fire investigation uh, I'm a subcontractor uh, and my focus is photography sketching of uh, site layouts um, documentation basically uh, as well as assistance lifting things and stuff uh, I am a certified evidence collection technician and fire investigation technician certified by the International Association of Arson Investigators uh, also a member of the Michigan chapter of the IAAI um, so yeah important work for the insurance industry um, of course my job kind of felt like it was split in half because the site work feels like essential work for the insurance industry which was listed as an exception in the uh, at least the Michigan guidelines and uh, but at the same time the office work kind of slowed down because I'm not going to the office I need to protect my contractor and his family from anything I might have picked up at my second job or in Ann Arbor uh, which is a less controlled environment in student ghetto less controlled environment than a lot of people live in um, I got people trying my doorknobs and checking checking the place for empty cans not these days though interestingly uh, recycling the uh, Michigan bottle return program was deemed non-essential and has just been put on hold during this crisis. Uh, so, uh, you know, those of us with energy drink addictions are just piling up the cans in our basement. Ten cents a pop. Maybe someday I'll regain that value after spending a few hours in Myers or Kroger. Anyways, off topic. So that's the job I've been working for years, and um, I've chosen not to say too much about it out of respect for my contractor, and uh, he's a small business owner, so, you know, his privacy, um, all that stuff. Uh, priorities for me terms of that job so okay now let's transition into my new job my second job my on hold job and this one's tricky because I I have made the personal decision to keep this channel separate from that job uh, I've decided not really to talk about it much however I feel like I should clarify, and this is uh, this is the point where maybe maybe law enforcement needs to pay attention here. I am now a field operative for the United States federal government. Uh, that sounds impressive, perhaps. Uh, but I'm not in I'm not in intelligence or law enforcement. Uh, I'm a glorified bee encounter, perhaps. I like that phrase, bee encounter. I had a job where I got to choose my own title, so uh, I'm just going to choose that bee encounter. Um, although, actually, I'm the role I'm playing is, I guess, more important than that because it uh, has been changing as everything has been changing uh, in the last little while. Is this basalt? 
Soul Sand Valley, okay. I think that's bad for ghasts. Uh, yeah, so I'm not... I'm not gonna go into the details of that. Um... Oh... Oh, I said it. I said that much, at least. Okay, so now disclaimers. Official legal disclaimers. The views and opinions expressed on this channel, this video, and all other videos on WebDrood are not necessarily the official stance of the United States federal government or any of its bureaus, divisions, or you know, whatever. Loosely affiliated subcontractors. In fact, I'm drinking a little bit of Far Loco right now. So, the views expressed in this video may not represent my opinions or beliefs. Uh, I gotta kind of cross that threshold to convince myself to record and upload this junk, so... Uh, excuse me, four local belch. So here we go. Um, this channel has always been a personal project of mine. I have never received money for any of the activities I've done on YouTube. Um, all content has been recorded or created by me. Uh, there are a few times where friends of mine have appeared on my channel, either videos focusing on them or uh, videos conversing with them. In those cases, I uh, I was likely the cameraman, and I've posted them at their request. Uh, so I not only have their permission, but uh, it was generally their uh, request that led me to posting them on my channel. Um, I guess there's an interview I posted at one point. Ah, do I even remember the title? The penultimate set for pan interview? Um, yeah, I don't think much was expressed in that anyways in terms of views or opinions. So, yeah, just uh, th uh, take this as an official disclaimer that when I speak on this channel, I am not speaking for uh, a job or an employer or anything. It, this is just the junk that flows out of my brain onto the tubes so if you feel like uh, licking whatever comes out of the other end of that tube I appreciate it more power to you but um yeah just to reiterate it does not represent any official stance of the United States federal government or any of the states, or uh, departments, bureaus, divisions, uh, therein. So, yeah. This, I'd like to say this is an apolitical channel, but, you know, like, me saying I don't care about politics is be like a drowning man claiming he doesn't care about water. It just doesn't make sense. You can be in denial, but it's affecting your whole life, buddy. It's all over the place. And uh, some people may want to peg me as a Democrat. I, I, you know, I took one of those political spectrum things, and I ended up, sure, on the liberal side, but also the libertarian side. 
of that other scale and I've been talking about that other scale ever since my first videos on this channel so anybody paying attention knows that uh, if I have any focus <laughs> if I have any focus it's trying to break people out of uh, bipolar dichotomies uh, black and white thinking that leads to it's yeah the bipolar thinking is how you get good people to commit evil because they believe they're doing the right thing and right now there's all sorts of people causing problems when they think they're trying to help and a lot of that is due to a failure of good leadership and guidance and uh, a decision by certain people in power to ignore truth and wisdom and understanding and expertise of professionals. <sighs> so... What else do I have to say about all that? Um, my work as a field operative for the federal government has been on hold for a little while during this crisis. Uh, I was given an opportunity to drive myself crazy trying to keep myself busy making stupid phone calls to people who probably don't need them. Um, but anyways, there's another transition coming just in a few days. I'm going to be helping with some call center overflow they have us doing while we're uh, being told to shelter in place. Which has been hard for me. Sheltering in place has been hard for me. It's easy enough for me to stay away from my loved ones, to keep my head down and not expose them to anything I might have caught. That's been uh, my priority. Um, even as I continued to work in and around Ann Arbor, Ypsilanti, and down in Monroe uh, while this crisis started, but now that everything's been put on hold yeah I guess I can transition back to talking about YouTube I've been playing around in Minecraft probably for the wrong reasons it probably gives me a false self false sense of control over the world I mean this is a world simulator and uh, Yeah, if you have enough knowledge and understanding of Minecraft, it becomes a safer and more predictable place to live than the real world. Um, and that's not to give you the impression that I've been racked with fear and hiding in my apartment. Um, I hide in my apartment anyway. I've been enjoying the memes uh, that us gamers have been preparing for this crisis our whole life <laughs> yep yep uh, yeah I, I can go a little while without talking to my dad for example uh, but his his new wife seems to think that's an issue um, my dad doesn't seem it's a big enough issue to just call me but she's convinced him to email me and text me every once in a while and when I try and call he doesn't answer so and I'm not I don't like leaving messages in part that's because of him he doesn't listen to his messages he seeing that there's a message triggers him to make a call because he'd rather talk to the person anyways uh, but 
I guess I'm not triggering him to call me because of that. <sighs> I don't know how I find my way home here. My compass doesn't work in the nether. I guess I could try and get to the... to the roof. I do like the nether now that it's more built. Part of what was so horrifying before was the emptiness of it. And I don't know, a ghast or two floating around does not create enough of a danger to make it exciting in my mind, but now there's the potential to like live in the nether. Wow, I started talking about Minecraft and I didn't mean to. Oh, the crisis got me into that. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, so perhaps this Minecraft kick is a feeble attempt to regain some control over... Well... My world. Something I'm creating. Uh, uh, but also to, you know, maybe I'm just trying to create some sense of consistency in my life because I, yeah, I really don't know if I'm going to be working the next day. I'm waking up every morning for a 9 a.m. conference call for my second job. And that is giving me a whole 15 minutes of pay every single day. That's about $8. $8 a day. I guess that's better than quitting. Just being paid a little bit to be on hold. I don't know if it's worth $8 a day. For me to wake up early in the morning. But I should be on this schedule for my other job anyways, so. I guess I could just warp. To get home. Wait. Can I warp? To the overworld? I thought I was going to fall in lava there. Um. Alright. What? How long have I been going? I can't tell easy. Um, oh, this is a major stronghold. All right, what have I failed to cover? I have two jobs, neither of them relate to this channel. Oh, yeah, so if so, don't. Yeah, uh, don't talk about it in the comments, please. Um, you may be able to guess what I'm talking about. It is 2020 after all. And hindsight is 2020 or something. I don't know. You'll probably be able to figure it out. But yeah, I just don't... After reading through... Whoops. Uh, after reading through all the guidelines, regulations, the training manual, 
I just decided it was not worth trying to pursue doing my job on social media. I know that if I use existing channels, like this one, it might confuse the message of the druid. Uh, it might detract from that message. It might confuse some of my viewers as to my motives. And it very well could get me into legal trouble if I'm not careful, so... That job is unrelated to the druid's calling here. And I know I've not been doing very good at following my calling. But I've only figured out my calling a few years ago, so... Uh, if I had figured it out years ago, perhaps I would have come up with my title, The Druid. Uh, before I learned the word Sadvapran, which I didn't even fully understand. Sadvapran, apparently, is an adjective, not a noun. Which suits me better anyways. It was rather egotistical as a noun to consider myself a Sadvipra. I aspire to be a Sadvipra, but I'm not sure I am one. But Sadvipran, I hope I'm Sadvipran. I hope I am somewhat Sadvipran in my goals delivery. Uh, yeah. I know I'm a failure in a lot of ways, and some of that is by intent. Um, certainly my brush with popularity back when I made you, me, and the problems with the world. And it got so much attention because of a video response. Ah, shoot. I gotta explain video responses to the millennials. Back when I was a boy, first uploading content to YouTube, we didn't have a like button. And we could post videos in response to other videos. You'd just find a video that you wanted to respond to and you'd make a response and you'd say, hey, this is a response to that video. And the person who made that video, if depending on their settings, could review your video and accept the link, the connection, so that your video would appear under theirs as a response. Or they could deny it. They could deny them all. As a course of procedure. Or accept them all. As a course of procedure. Or review them first. And boy was I excited about that. Because it was a way to immediately join the global conversation. And of course you're still competing for people's attentions uh, with other video responses and you're leapfrogging off the video you're responding to and uh, my guess my best guess as to why they removed that feature is that it was important for growth in YouTube's early stages and once they had enough name recognition and had solidified their place as a repository for online visit videos. Um, they got rid of it because it was more hassle than it was worth. Uh, potentially violent or dangerous individuals. Uh, even, you know, like worst case scenario, you could imagine a, a pedophile predator making video responses to try and grab the attention of young kids who are making videos and of course I would say uh, who's protecting the kids? It'd be nice if YouTube protected them, it would be nice if their parents protected them, it would be nice if they couldn't
get easy access, and YouTube's done a better job of controlling uh, content for kids. But it also has its issues. Um, for example, Minecraft. There's a popular misconception that this is a kid's game. And it may be popular among some children, but this is a... This is a deep and rich... I, I don't even like calling it a game, necessarily, because... Some people use it for sandbox mode. Just to design things, and so those people aren't playing a game. They're using a program like Photoshop to create 3D art. Uh, some people are programming in Minecraft. They're using redstone contraptions uh, to learn about how machines work and how we program them. And to play hands-on. It's actually one thing I like about Minecraft is that I studied architecture. But figured out that the gratification... For being an artifact, or, or, an architect. Sorry, gratification for being an art architect is very slow. You can spend ten or twenty years on a big project that you only have a sliver of creative input on, only to see other people build it, often incorrectly. Uh, I've heard horror stories going through architecture school of people who designed light wells to line up with sculpture recesses and then when the contractor went to build it thought well these light wells are offset from normal normally you'd have a light in each space between columns and so the fact that the architect was designing the space around the sculpture bays was completely lost on the contractor who assumed that the architect would be using uh, more universal standards for building. And he was using standard light fixtures to keep the cost down but he was placing those light fixtures in a non-standard way to maximize the lighting for the artwork that he was trying to feature. And so the general contractor, who thinks he's making things better by bringing it back into a sense of normalcy, are actually undoing uh, the architect's creative design work and wasting the money of the people who commissioned the work. And rather than just asking the, the architect for clarification, the contractor thought it was in his best interest. You know, save money, all that stuff. Uh, to, yeah, just fix the problem. So, yeah, it ties back into what I said earlier, that sometimes people with good intentions can commit evil. And maybe you don't see that as evil, but if someone's designed a piece of art and your job is to build it for them, you would think your artistic uh, endeavor would... Your, your creativity, your design. Your design would be of importance as the designer. So, And, you know, there are bad designers. There are certainly people that, you know, there are architects that make uh, leaky buildings. I remember learning that uh, one of Frank Lloyd's Wright, Frank Lloyd Wright's largest building was, a, I think, an office in Chicago. It's a beautiful open space design with uh, skylights in the ceiling, and those skylights leaked. And so uh, within a year of building it, they had to start repairs to try and fix the leaks of the uh, 
Yeah, so anyways. Yeah, my head just blanked. I apologize. I know it's my job to keep talking here. Keep it interesting. Um, I don't know if I can find my way home. I guess I can just start a new life. If you believe in reincarnation, it's just a lot easier, isn't it? Meanwhile, my niece learned about death from video games. We were all tiptoeing around the subject. Even while my dad uses uh, colloquialisms that are based on mortality. Um, yeah, she learned from Mario. I die all the time on that. And what happens when you die? Well, you just restart. Start the level over. Okay. That's a strange concept of death. Uh, I maybe closely resembles my concept of death, except I don't think I'm starting this life over, that's for sure. I hope not. I feel trapped enough as it is in this one. If I was experiencing it for the second time, even with a memory wipe, I'm not sure I could handle it. Oh, Leth. Why did you not do a better job on me? Maybe I have a resistance to Leth. Is that possible? Building up a resistance to the river? The waters of Leth? 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 I don't know how that's pronounced. It's all Greek to me. <laughs> okay. I should uh, probably just slap my my little end script on there, huh? Was I going to talk about my editor? No, let's not. Let's not. And say we didn't. Say we never did. It's probably safer. I yeah. The law enforcement. Okay, so... My reason for revealing that I'm a field operative for the U.S. Oh my god, I need more for loco. Alright. My motivation for revealing that I'm a field operative for the United States federal government is that if there's anybody in law enforcement monitoring my videos I've tried to drop enough hints to get your attention here oh keywords explosions terrorists uh, assassination of the president of the United States A dirty bomb COVID-19 coronavirus uh, CIA FBI intelligence gathering operations uh, monitoring of social media stay at home order F face masks uh, mandatory vaccinations New World Order. 
one world government. Uh, the World Health Organization is unduly influenced by China. Uh, the uh, CDC is un unduly influenced by a president. The POTUS um, conspiracy against the United States Constitution. The Bill of Rights. The Second Amendment, the First Amendment, the Fifth Amendment. Okay. I just wanted to get a nice string of hot keywords. Incel. Oh, that's a good one. Incel. Incel. Uh, violent extremism. Jihad. White supremacy. Um, uh... <sighs> How long could I do this for? I could probably do this for hours. Should I live stream a list of danger? Excuse me. For loco. A list of dangerous terms? Okay. Hopefully, I now have the thorough attention of anybody wasting taxpayer money watching my videos. I am not... A violent extremist. I am not a threat to the government in any sort of anarchist overthrow revolution or anything. I am, at heart, a moderate. However, I see our country as highly bipolar and my ability to see things from alternate perspectives allows me to identify with both the Republicans and the Democrats who are brainwashed in this whole thing. Um, I'm not happy about either choice for president. I think our current one has proved himself not the best. And, uh, you know, not happy about the hair sniffer. I think it's a continuation of Trump Kavanaugh extension, which I do not like as a feminist. I don't like the term feminism. I'm a gender egalitarian, but I accept the term feminism. You can throw it at me if, if you want. Uh, I'm aware of the red pill movement, and it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I am an egalitarian, first and foremost. Um, but when it comes to the Constitution, I have now pledged an oath to defend the Constitution from all threats, foreign and domestic, and I take that very seriously. I dare say, if you're a subcontractor working in law enforcement, I take it more seriously than you do. I think the Constitution is what... It's, it's a guideline for best practices and we've been ignoring it for decades largely as a group and I think that's very dangerous um are there are people who really support the first amendment there are people who really force uh, support the second amendment I support the fifth quite a bit um I understand the reasons for not wanting to self incriminate any data you put out there can be used against you. I'm proof of that. You can look at anti brand for more uh, proof. And I, I think it's been long enough. I don't mind drawing attention to their channel. They've probably grown up and hopefully moderated their viewpoints a little bit. Um, the fact that they were essentially practicing witchcraft to tr on YouTube to try and combat someone who announced themselves as a witch on YouTube. And here's another insight. I do not practice magic unless you count any of this crap I'm putting on YouTube. This is the only magic I'm practicing. Other than um, a few things that I've shared here on YouTube, like my own little hand gesture that I use to... supplicate myself to the universal spirit the all one the greatest whole 
that contains all of us. And for me, that's the multiverse. Which I have glimpses of. But I think I was going to avoid talking about in this. Okay, so the legal, the legal things. I'm a field operative for the United States federal government. That means I've passed an FBI background check. And I'm keeping my supervisors happy with my work performance. Uh, like I said, I'm on hold right now. But I think they appreciate me and are happy to keep me on hold until we can reopen the uh, normalcy or, or the new normal. Yeah, there never was a normal. The normal was always an illusion. And for those of us new neo-hippies who understand that, uh, maybe this crisis is a little bit easier to navigate, but I've been dealing with new cognitive biases because... Or, sorry, cognitive dissonances. I suppose both are true, but... Uh, because the fear... Well, just as an example, uh, I think my brother is more worried about his in-laws or daughter being infected than he is about himself. Which is very similar to where I'm at. I'm more worried about infecting any of them than getting infected myself. I have confidence, looking at the data, that if I were to be infected, I probably would survive. Um, and I've spent the last two months debating whether I might be infected. Because I've been dealing with um, some health issues that I think are more related to my home environment, which I've spent more time at. Um, perhaps my lack of cleanliness in my home environment. Um, possible allergens that I'm just not... You know, that are either expressing themselves newly for me or um, have built up over the last couple years uh, or something. The only allergy I'm aware of. Anyways, I've talked about this stuff and it's not important. What was my point? Oh, law enforcement, stop wasting your time here. I mean, feel free. Oh, the hashtag. Ah, oh, the hashtag. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is a longer video than intended, but I had to talk about the hashtag, too. In, uh, 2014, I think? So that's now six years ago. I went on Twitter and said, Hey, let's start a cult. Hashtag a cult. A-C-U-L-T. Um, and, and I got some response. Uh, not on Twitter, um, but I got some response to it. Um, uh, mainly direct messages, emails, uh, people talking to me in person. But I am not a, a cult leader. I just want to make that clear. I. I mean, you, you can look at my numbers here. This is the main place I'm active on uh, posting videos. Uh, I wish I was more active on Minds.com. I'm there in spirit and heart. Um, hashtag a cult. The okay. It's not a religion. It's not a cult. Hashtag a cult was an attempt at starting an online discussion 
and it failed. Uh, the majority of responses I got were direct messages, and the majority of those people who reached out to me were uh, reluctant to post anything publicly. They were looking for my spiritual or philosophical input, I suppose. Um, it is not an organization by any stretch of the word. I do not have a list. I do not have contact information compiled. Uh, and the people who responded to hashtag a cult, I consider friends. And that's pretty much the extent of it. I don't think there's anybody out there who, if I asked them to commit violence, would do so on my behalf. And I wouldn't do that. And if anybody is committing violence, it's based on things I've said, it's a misinterpretation. And, uh... Yeah, I don't want to talk about my editor, but... I think he's suppressed some of the activity that that's generated here by deleting comments and uh, I can't even be sure of that because all I know is that I've seen some comments that were there and then disappeared and that could easily be explained by someone changing their mind about a post and removing it themselves that would explain why I saw it and then it wasn't there um, but I think too much of this has occurred for it to just be all coincidence that everybody's changing their mind about posts I don't think a lot of people do that as habitually as I do on Facebook typing things in and then deleting them um, but I usually do that before I hit enter I usually type something and then look at it a little bit and decide is this something I want public, uh, which is a form of it's a threshold that a lot of people or a distinction a lot of people don't worry about or cross or whatever. But anyways, did I get to everything? Uh, feel free to look at look for Ractal Feasts or you can search for you, me, and problems with the world and probably find it I think he's left it posted Ractal Feasts um, I can maybe verify that while I'm recording here Ractal Feasts showing results for Fractal Face no, I know how to type, Mr. Computer, don't correct me. Meet Sacks and Ghosts, my favorite video from Ractal Feast. Might be a newer one. Um, you are not your meat sack. Yeah, I'll check that out briefly. But I was looking for myself on other people's channels. Um, how did... Yeah, okay. New tab. I should look at his most popular videos. <laughs> Number one. So his most popular video is a response to mine. And he has almost 1 million views for it. Almost 1 million views. And my video I'm just doing a search to see if it comes up. One tenth. Yeah. 
80k, well, 79k on mine, and 174k on his. So yeah, his response to me was 10 times more popular than my video, which I, 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 Ractalfeast is cool. He's, he's off the deep end, exploring areas that, uh, most of us aren't interested in exploring. And, and I'm, I'm with him. I'm on that. I, I appreciate him. Actually went, I think he quit. I think he quit posting. No. He's got something from a year ago. Yeah, well, I'll have to catch up on Ractal Feast, so I can see how she's doing. But um Yeah, another sidetrack. What was my point? Oh, I've been kinda hiding from popularity ever since then. Um and arguably this this Minecraft kick is an extension of that, is that I've um, I think my subscriber counts creeping downward over the last month or two, and it was stagnant before that for a couple years, I think. So I, I'm actually by just doing Minecraft, I'm managing to get a few people to be like, "Why is this in my subscription feed?" and then unsubscribe to me. Um, Well, okay. Did I cover everything? Jeez. Um, can I warp home? Like zero? No. It just says target. Well, maybe zero. What? Whoa. Oh, it's an it's a world. What the heck? Well, this looks like an Easter egg. Overworld is raining and filmed with brimstone. This is brimstone, right? Magma. Um, I guess it's magma instead of dirt. It looks like a super flat. Uh-oh. I think I've slipped into Minecraft Infinity, but this was ether. Whoa. The heck? Diamond? Dirt? Oh, I just broke diamond. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is an Easter egg. This has to be an... Whoa! This has to be an Easter egg. <laughs> this is too good a dimension. <laughs> just, just diamond blocks everywhere. Ah, oh, the colors are in here crazy. Whoa, hello. Yeah, and I feel bad for destroying diamond, I do. Um, but ether is specifically a world I'm playing around in. Um,
Oh gosh, this I need a portal to this in uh, in infinite, obviously. Hello, bat. One of the most detailed little guys in the game. All right, now well, we're in overworld. Whatever good that does us. Oh, I could just make a portal. Alright, did I cover all my bases? Hashtag a cult is not a cult or a religion. It was an intended as an online discussion group and it failed. Oh, I was also going to say... If you were somebody quietly watching me for more updates on Hashtag Occult, I have two recommendations. And they are almost bipolar opposites. One is Unicult. Unicult is a public online cult or religion that is headed by a personality who she's Z. Z is calling themselves um, Unicol Unicron. And I believe on YouTube you can find her under Unicol Unicron. She is a personality and she's very personable but she's not easy to talk with directly um i haven't tried personally uh, we've had some interaction on facebook through comments but i've tried to keep my head down for the most part not draw her attention the oh this is just a biome Um, uh, the, yeah, I was talking. Shoot. Train of thought. I'm distracted by diamonds. Hey, there's a ship. Uh, okay, so... Whoa! Boots. I don't know why I'm collecting anything. Um... Unicult, okay. Uh, I started paying attention to Unicult six or seven years ago. Um, and really my goal was information gathering for hashtag a cult. And I started listening to I started listening to Unicol with the goal of figuring out what she was doing wrong or why she was crazy and to date I haven't figured that out yet uh, if she's insane it's very similar to my insanity uh, which she claims to be an alien reincarnated here which I, I don't think I can claim um I think I've been human in several past lives, but I just don't think it's necessarily been in this dimension, so. Anyway, so I, I recommend if you want to just passively consume something that will help you think about 
philosophy, the world, and life's biggest questions, then um, Unicol Unicron is certainly an uh, interesting resource. She puts a whole lot of stuff out there for free. If you want to join her cult, it costs $11. I think that's a one-time cost. I have not joined her cult. And I will not join her cult as long as it might provide risk for my professional activities. And I keep saying her. She... By all accounts is in a female human body here, but thinks of herself as gender neutral, which I respect enough to accept on her on Zer terms. And part of the reason I'm able to do that is she's made it abundantly clear that she supports people coming up with their own cosmologies, which is something I was already doing before running across them the unicol the unicult so if you're a hippie a pagan new age whatever she might be a good source of input for you to uh, reinforce your beliefs or um Perhaps just influence them. I mean, if you're not looking for change, then you're not looking for new input, probably. So you probably don't need her. If you are looking for input, I think she Z is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, she's been feeding one side of my brain. And I also discovered at about the same time a Reddit group. R slash a cult. Is that right? I gotta go check again. Reddit. R. A cult. Yeah, that's how I found it. On Reddit, a cult stands for... It's an acronym. A community of unaffiliated liberal thinkers. And this, I think, appeals to the other hemisphere. It's a bunch of rational thinkers who are coming together on Reddit to try and create this is my understanding and I haven't spent a whole lot of time on, on it but they're trying to create a document for I, I want to say free thinkers but there's a strong focus on logic and science and using um, philosophy and logic to inform a worldview. Well, let me just read their ultimate goal. Uh, their wiki. Okay, we are a community of unaffiliated liberal thinkers. Community, a group sharing a common understanding. Unaffiliated, not associated, either to another political or religious community or to society's chosen reality in general. Liberal, widely open to new ideas, willing to depart from established opinions or conventions. Thinkers, those who spend time thinking, contemplating, or meditating. Oh, danger. We're not going to get too much into that, but um, I think it may appeal more to uh, 
more rational, scientifically minded people um, who are looking for a more codified perspective, a more defined approach. Um, and in both cases, Unicult and r slash a cult, uh, there is a pretty strong focus on the individual and their perspective of the world and communicating and sharing that perspective. Well, I gotta open up a portal to this in Infinity. This may be a good reason to go back into Infinity. Um, of course, I've remorted, recorded more Infinity than anything else recently, so I actually need to probably get back into Archivalian. Archivalian languages! Yeah, I like this world. I had no idea I'd end up here. Um, let's build a portal. Yeah, this looks fine. Nice little platform here. to well that was a fail burning diamonds um huh well I can tell which way is home now so uh yeah those are recommendations if you're thinking about life's big questions and I'm not <laughs> I'm not enough of a support I know that I, I I'm horrible at providing my own I don't I don't know I feel like I've been walking a fine line between acceptability and truth and I don't know as I'm succeeding but uh, certainly it's taking me a lot longer than I expected Um, what's stopping me? Oops. Well, I probably just destroyed whatever was in there. Ah, this is Aether. Like, it matters. Oh, there it opened. Lag? Whatever. Um, yeah, okay, so those are my recommendations for people who feel like I've let them down on this online discussion group front. Uh, but yeah, I'm nonviolent. I, I, I may be extremely weird, but I'm not an extremist. Um, I don't want to upend... Well, wow, there's just there's corruption and I <sighs> It's not the focus. It's not the focus that my channel, my work here. Uh 
Uh, yeah. So. I don't think my editor's listening to any of these. Maybe just the starts of the video to get an idea what what I'm doing, but I'm hoping this Minecraft package serves as a good Trojan horse to get it past his radar and to your ears. And you know, just on the unlikely event, that he is paying attention. Insert catchphrase here.